Week number three for Liz is today's video. Liz is one of the slimmers on our free six week course who is going to lose a stone in the next six weeks. Aren't you, Liz? Hopefully. <laughs> right. I've seen it on your Facebook already, but share it with everyone. What have you done this week? Well, in total, since the beginning, it's minus seven pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great because it's only the end of week number two and you're halfway there to the goal already. Yep. That okay. is amazing. I'm so impressed, Liz. And how has that been divided up over the last week or have you only just been on the scales? Um, I think the first week was £5, so the last week must be 2 I think. Fantastic. So you had a little bit of stress as well last week, didn't you? Uh, yes, just a tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> but the main thing is you've got through it and you've got success. So really well done. Yep. For that. And how have you been finding it generally? Uh, not too bad, actually. A lot less bloated since I've had less carbs. Great. And how's your walks been with Bev? How many miles <laughs> has she taken you? Oh, I can't remember how I many we did now. We did an hour's walk one way and then it was an hour's walk back. And then we obviously did the park run, which was another hour the day after, which was three miles. So Great. probably about nine miles in total last week. And what was your park run time? Uh, one hour, four minutes. <laughs> Fantastic. And how did you find it with all those people there? Um, that bit was fine. We weren't too keen on it all being the paths with the concrete. It was quite harsh on the joints, we thought. It's um, There's pros and cons to it. Obviously, when it's been raining and snowing over the last few weeks, we've been thankful for those paths. But you are right. Yeah. Any sort of concrete is not so good for your joints and stuff. So that is the downside to it. Yeah, it was a bit painful. So you, Bev wasn't taunted to shoot off uh, near the front of the gang? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think we could have kept up with them. <laughs> so, yeah, so some of the... I take an hour to do it, and, and to see that some of people do it in 15 minutes, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? They don't look happy, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you... person. I'm glad you're saying that, Liz, because I feel exactly the same. You know, physically and mentally, they're really pushing themselves, aren't they, to do it? They just look miserable. Each one that went past us was like... <laughs> but us at the back, happy chappies, eh? Exactly. Have a little stroll, little chat, take your time. There we go. That's what it's all about. So that's good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was good. <laughs> right, let's have a little look through your food diary then. So were you on nights last night? Yes. So the sardines were a midnight snack, were they? Yes. <laughs> Do you like sardines? Oh, yes, they're not bad. Didn't like the whatever I tried, kippers or whatever it was. was oh, really? I'm the other way, you see. I like kippers, but I'm not really uh, keen on sardines. But you're finding something you can swallow, which is good. Yeah, not bones. <laughs> yeah, that is, to be honest, that is the worst bit, isn't it? Sometimes you can have them without any bones and then you get by the same product and it's got loads of bones. So that's the bad side of nature. Um, did you have a gift of these aero bubbles I've been reading in your food diary? I thought I'd put them on because I did eat them. Well so done. they are there. <laughs> Was it a gift from someone or were they just lying around? No, they were just lying around, so I ate them. <laughs> and, you know, this is the joy of calories, is the fact that you can more or less eat whatever you like. So that don't feel guilty about it. You've tracked it, so it's fine. And you've also burnt an extra 648 calories today. Is that just from running around at night? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And are you still able, because I know before you were able to walk to and from work. Have you? Is uh, that not in start the, it, it will do when the weather gets a tiny bit better. Yeah, I think after Easter, it'll probably be better, won't it, for doing that? Yeah, not in the rain. I can't do that. Yeah. Right. Yesterday's food diary, uh, mushroom omelette, I think that was. Yep. 
uh, for lunch, uh, seafood salad, basically, with a bit of salad cream. Yeah. And then the evening, it was a stir fry. Yep. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. And a bit of grapefruit to finish. And also a little snack of kiwi as well. Oh, yes. Odd box. Oh, is it from Odd Box? Great. An odd shaped kiwi. <laughs> I saw one of my... Uh, fellow fitness professionals yesterday having the debate do you eat the kiwi skin yes or no <laughs> no it's hairy why because a lot of people eat it you know to be fair one of my kids does oh do <laughs> no no but i'm with you to be honest i like to eat it like an egg and just scoop food. it out and, yeah right monday yogurt with chia seeds and berry mix uh, for lunch, apple and peanut butter, and the evening, sausage pasta. Yeah, easy done. And your extra calories on Monday, Liz, were 1,900 calories extra through your steps. <laughs> it was a very busy night at work. <laughs> I should imagine so. <laughs> so you'd actually earned more than you'd eaten, which is great. Yep. Hopefully people are starting to see now how you've lost this weight. Uh, Sunday... <laughs> Grapefruit for breakfast, uh, grilled chicken with cauliflower cheese. Also, kind of a Sunday dinner was that. Yeah. And then dinner, some peanut butter and apple and a go-ahead bar. So again, some of these uh, meals are a bit weird because you, with your work and trying to make up the calories, so it's over a thousand. Yes. Sometimes tweak it a bit just to make it up. Yeah, that's good, especially peanut butter. We love that. Uh, Saturday, go ahead bar for lunch, for breakfast. Uh, char grilled chicken Caesar salad for lunch with some carrots and hummus. Oh, that was weird. Was it what the hummus? Yeah, because it was chocolate flavored. What? With, yeah, <laughs> it's the Sainsbury's Easter Buddy snack. I need to look that up right now. <laughs> So I did, but I think I put a picture on it. Did you? Sainsbury's yeah. Easter Bunny chocolate hummus. And how did it taste? Um, a bit odd. <laughs> was it really it. sweet or not? No, it was quite more like cocoa powder, sort of bitter a bit. Right, I've I've got the picture up now. So it's one of those <laughs> little snack pots. Yeah. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> and not only has it got chocolate in it, also says it's got some gold golden syrup in it as well. I so don't think I'll have it again, but I did try it. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> but well done for uh, <laughs> trying that. I'm impressed. Um, and it's in the um, go, on the go section, and it's in the meal deal as well. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Right. I might have to uh, pop down to Sainsbury's and try one of those <laughs> just to taste the weirdness of it all. Yeah, a bit strange with the carrots and the... <laughs> uh, on Saturday evening, you had pizza. And a nutty bar as a snack. Oh, yeah. A little chocolate bar. Friday, uh, mixed veg with yogurt and chia seeds. That was an odd breakfast. Oh, it's berries. Whoops. <laughs> you can blame this on the night shift. <laughs> <laughs> Similar calories, though, so that's fine. Uh, a vegetable pizza slice for lunch. And then in the evening, you had uh, sweet potato fries with salad, chicken breast, uh, peppers, and one of those nutty bars again. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, peanut butter with rice cakes. Uh, for lunch, yogurt with chia seeds and berry mix. You've done the right thing there. You put in berry mix. Oh, can <laughs> I just add, berry mix is actually lower calories than mixed vegetables, Liz. Oh. So you outdid yourself of a few calories. <laughs> Am I? And then for dinner, Thai red curry with rice, mixed veg, 
pork. Um, and then to finish with, you had one of those Muller Light banana and custard flavoured yogurt. Are they nice? I've never tried one of them. Yeah, it was all right. Just like banana custard you used to get at school. Oh, nice. Uh, Wednesday was bagel in the morning, uh, rice cakes and peanut butter for lunchtime. And in the evening, uh, chicken with rice and peppers, lime, red onion. Oh, it sounds nice. And then oh, finally, they won. What was it? It was an old El Paso like packet that you just made up. Oh, great. That was nice. And then as a snack, you had a chocolate orange bar. Mm. Wonderful. <laughs> Liz, on that day, last Wednesday, you earned an extra 2,245 steps, uh, calories. Yeah, I was stressed, so I did a bit more walking. Oh. Pretty right. Fun. Liz, really well done. You deserve that success so much. I'm so impressed with that. So as I said, you get your first certificate already, which is quite exciting, isn't it? So the pressure's off. If you want to put your feet up now and just lose uh, a couple of pounds a week for the next four weeks, then I'm absolutely fine with that. If you want to do a Chelsea, like on our last course, and lose two stone over the six weeks, then... <laughs> Or you could do a Bev and just do a stone and a half. So you're doing exactly what Bev did, got half stone by the first two weeks. So that's good. Yeah, I'm off out with it tomorrow. Oh, great. What's the plan for this week? Uh, I'm walking there tomorrow. Friday, I'm on a walk in Dovedale for two hours. Great. I don't know what that's going to be like. Maybe park on Saturday, not quite decided. Yeah. And then I'm back at work Monday, Tuesday anyway. Okay, fab. So that's our activity planned. Have you done your shopping already? Uh, majority of it, yes. Fab. And anything that you've got different this week food-wise? Oh, I can't think. No. Oh, a southern peppered curry for tea tonight. Oh, that sounds nice. That might be all right. I've not tried that before. Yeah. Oh, I can't think what else I've put on the list. It's all on the fridge at home and I'm not at home. Oh, okay. No problem. Great. But it's out ready. Sounds good to me. <laughs> right. Any, th any other questions? Uh, can't think of any. I was going to do Aquafit today, but I'm not going to get there now. <laughs> okay. No problem. Don't worry. What is your goal for next week? How many pounds would you like to lose? Oh, at least two. Okay, great. So two would be, I'll be more than happy with that next week. Absolutely. Great. Thank you very much, Liz. Have a great week. And in this weather. <laughs> yeah, stay in today. March on the spot. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. Bye for now. Okay, bye. Bye.